around the world. This is Roe. I'm from Hukalo TV. We're doing our regular Saturday webinar and it happens to fall on Halloween. So we've got a bit of a spooky surprise in store for you, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Trick or treat. Here we go. So without further ado, um, welcome to the webinar. Um, I just want to quickly introduce Sabrina and this be a few announcements and then Jim will be doing the channeling. So have a great time guys and I'll speak to you later. Welcome everybody to our Saturday webinar with Jim today. And um, I have a few announcements. Uh, please don't forget today we have story time with Kim at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern and then tomorrow Sunday the meditation at 7 p.m. Eastern and it will be led by Johannes so we're all looking forward to that um, and please if you are interested in uh, hosting the meditation uh, please get in touch with Broy or with myself um, <clears throat> or, or Guru Dan shout out to Guru Dan he's watching from YouTube so um, I'm glad you're taking a break. Enjoy your day off. And um, I want to welcome everyone that's in the room today. Um, Carolina, Gabriel made it. Whoa, hooray. <laughs> um, Roy, Johannes, Neil, Noha, Roxanne, and Valerie. So welcome everyone. And now I would like Jim to introduce the people that are with him today. He is being host at Will's house. So thank you for that, Will. <laughs> I thank you very much, Sabrina. I wanted to just say um, happy Halloween to everyone. And it's a it's actually a nice day here. But I can't turn my head all the way around because I'm not in the exorcist at the moment. So I'm going to have people say um, their names. I, Mark is to my right here. Just say your names as I as you go around. Mark. I'm two marks in a row. Michelle. Michelle. Michelle Francine. Francine. Angie. Angie. Helga. Hi. Helga. Barbara. Barbara. Sandy. Sandy. Erica. Erica. Will. Will. Okay. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> and Jim. And Jim. That is me. Um, I got a few requests for people that uh, people want to talk to already. Takur, Cryon, I, what else was there? Barbara's friend. Barbara's reptilian friend, <laughs> um, which we don't know his name. It starts with an S. It starts with an S, but we can't pronounce it. <laughs> so uh, anybody else wanted to make a request? Lakesh. Lakesh. I miss Lakesh so much. Yes, so Lakesh so would be love. good. The catch will be good, yes. And and also Douglas and James on the colonies. We haven't heard from any humans on the colony in a long time. That is a good idea, Douglas or James. Very good. I think it's better than Takur because we want a human like what's happening there from a human ex perspective. Oh, so that's that nice. Cool. Yeah. We'll see if they're available. I don't know who's up there right now. Anybody else? Arcturians are always welcome. Arcturians are welcome. Always welcome. Yes. Just so it's confirmed, Terence McKenna again. Thank you. And who is that? Can you tell fill us in a little bit? Um, he is. Um, he speaks very well. Let Let's just confirm that first. He speaks very well. He can. And he was a spokesman for. How can I say it's psychedelic, so to speak, and and this uh, oh. this world like theory, which can be like a theory yeah. kind of person. Again, please, I didn't hear. I uh, like was he like Timothy Leary? I don't know what that means. Yes, yes, he was similar to Timothy Leary. Yeah. Yes, Timothy Leary was a psychedelic person as well. Okay. Yeah, they were around the same time. Okay, and Terence, his name is correct. T Terence McKenna. Terence McKenna. Okay. Yeah. And he used it for spiritual use. He, yeah, it's it's uh, it's because if he can confirm some stuff with me, I can then tell a lot about this also because he was a spokesman about DMT and I've been experiencing it for I some see. time. 
and it can be a really good thing, I think. You, you're not alone. There's a lot of people that are experiencing that right now, so... Yeah, I know, uh, I know. Be careful with that, but yes, there are some people that are using it for spiritual use, but still, yeah. you have to be careful when you're using psychedelic drugs, so that's all I have to say. Yeah. All right, uh, anybody else? Um, James, James. Yeah. Hi. It um, it would be uh, it would be nice to if I could speak with somebody with regards to my head, please. Uh, okay. I'm not sure who to ask. Okay, we can probably talk about that. Uh, okay. On our own, so. Yeah, uh, just a quick disclaimer though. Um, oh. um, we any anything here, um, health-wise, we just got to give a quick disclaimer out. Um, you know, the information is advisory, and if there's anything seriously wrong, please see the doctor. Thank you. Um, yes, and uh, and I'll talk to you. That I want to talk to you anyway, Caroline. So that's fine. Oh, thank you, thank you. So, all right. If there's no more uh, of that, I will. Um, I will see you in a little bit, and we'll see who comes through. We have a lot of requests today, so I have no idea who's coming. But there's a lot of people waiting to come through, so that's wonderful. All right, have a great session, everybody, and I will talk to you in a little while. All right. Thank you, Jim. You're welcome. I am Takur. I've come briefly to tell you about the holographic progress. There is some progress with your governments and they are going to approve the rules and regulations by sometime next week. We have made a, a push on them because we want to get this started as quickly as possible. So by Wednesday of next week we should be all approved and starting on Friday or Saturday of next week, the holographic uh, projection should be beginning. So therefore, it is good news for us that these things are coming about. Personally, we would have started it 10 to 12 days ago had they not dragged their feet on some of the rules and regulations. But we will make some of these aware to you. The first rule that they wanted that was approved was that no holographic images would be seen on Earth, but they would only be seen on the colonies. So therefore you will be coming up in an astral projection and the holographic will be added when you get to the colonies. So therefore you will have a couple of changes. One will be that you will come to the colony and be put into the holographic form then you will do an interview to let you know what this form will enhance in your experience and then you will be moved into the fourth dimension where it will also be different with the, the holographic projection. Now these are several different changes. Some of you have already requested that you only go astrally because you're a little bit frightened of the holographic. That is fine for now. But there are many of you are wanting to come in the holographic form, and that is a wonderful thing. We believe you will be able to have a greater memory. We believe that you will have a, a greater uh, learning experience, and that is the most important thing. We're not, we're not really concerned about uh, how you're feeling, because we know that in a holographic projection that you're not going to be feeling any pain or discomfort. So that is not a, a worry of ours, but
but we do want to, you to come back with more understanding and more uh, re remembrance of what happened. So therefore, we are very excited to start bringing you next week. Is there any questions about that? That is my update for right now. So if you have a questions about all the rules and regulations, please talk to me privately. There are too many to go into today. There are at least 15 rules and regulations that they have set down for uh, us to obey. And there are small ones and uh, very pr particular things that they want us to do. And some of them were not approved by us. I would just let you know that. But then it was all, all through the process. We gave them very good reasons why those things were not approved. So at this point, things are ready to go. As soon as they bring back the final signed um, agreements. Jacob. Yes. This is Noha. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you? Glad to see you. And how are you, everybody? Uh, what I'm saying is, uh, I need to have any updates regarding my my. Uh, my updates, what am I doing in the colonies, uh, in the uh, crystal room, any messages that I need to know from your side, please. Oh, you will find out everything that you need to know when you come in the holographic form because I believe you will remember it more, but you are working with uh, the channeling area and also with the telepathic area. Anybody else, or else I will I will go and talk to you separately about the different things that uh, concern you individually, because Gabriel? this is just a major announcement that I wanted to let you know. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Hello. Yes. Hello, Tucker. I would love to go physic go. I mean, holographically. Yes, we know. And uh, and. Uh, I've been experiencing like so different like end use and prospect and I kind of felt not being able to join the webinars at all. Can you tell me why and what's going on with me? It's so You are joining fun. now because it is the right time. This is your time when you will be going into the holographic form and get, be getting more out of all the different things that are happening with you. So you will understand more as you go to the colonies in the holographic form and understand that this is there was a dry period for you because there was a dry period for everyone in some sense. Can you tell me who's I've been channeling? I'm channeling like any is, but I feel it's positive, but I don't know what any is and where from they the are. That you're channeling are off to you. They are... Okay. Uh, Lesser monk priests from the Octorian world named Kisasha and Sven. Yeah, I've been channeling a really like grounded information. Yes. Connects fully to your body. And I've been yeah. grounding, so it's yes. been exciting. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You We're entering a new phase of your your journey. Carolina? Take care. Sir, yes. Um, my, my question is, um, would the holographic uh, also work for the other colonies with the King, King Jim? I did not hear the question completely. Will the uh, holographic method uh, be applied to the ones um, to the colonies for King Kenjin as well. Oh yes, we can take you holographically to Kenjin's planet. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Eric, his planet. Okay, thank you, thank you. So, um, I was, I was, I just wanted to tell you, I don't remember going last week, but um, you just, uh, you just answered my question before, so. Um, yes. It's okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. I love you. I love you as well. Uh, if anyone in the room with Jim has a question for Tukur. Yes. Uh, Tukur, I was just wondering, are you going to take 
us holographically during the day and night or both? And if it's during the day, do we lose time or just a split second on Earth time? That was one of the rules and regulations. Oh, okay. um, the rule, the regulations is that you only go during your sleep or during the nighttime because they do not want people to be absent during the day. So they, that is one of the things the government insisted that they do not want people just leaving their bodies during the day. So they were, they find that to be. Uh, disconcerting. <laughs> so therefore, during the night when you're asleep, that is the time that you will leave your body. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank you for that question. That is one of the 15 rules and regulations. And will Anybody there, else? Will we lose time? You will lose die? about two it will be about the same as astral because you're coming in astral time and therefore it will be the same oh. time and adding the uh, holographic to it when you get to the colonies therefore your time space astrally will be the same so it will be like two hours but you will be there four to five days it will seem wow thank you David? Hello. Hello. Hello, the Kerr. Um, I believe we've talked before. Um, yeah. Today I have more historical question to you. Um, there's a lot of different information from different sources uh, about the history and the origin of what we consider races on our planet. Um, can you give a brief um, summary of where we originally came from? Did we all come from the same source at the same time? Where we altered at certain points? And um, yeah, basically, what's our different histories of our people here on Earth? Oh, all the different histories are because different species were on your planet at different times. They all entered the Akashic records in a different way because their perception of their time on your planet is different than what another species may perceive it as. Looking from the outside it would seem to be one way. Living it is another. So therefore your different different views and understandings of how your population started are because there are so many different species that actually seeded your planet and have different perceptions of how that it was done and different perceptions of how they interacted because they did not see the outcome till later. You see, when someone gives a historical event to the Akashic Record, when it is written down, it is written as they perceive it at that time. Now, as they move forward in time, they see the results of these actions and the seedings, and therefore, the Akashic Record also records those differences from what they actually viewed to the time of the present. Now, if you're going to look at the time of the present, you will see that there are many different views, points, and many different outcomes from the different things. By the way, this is no longer to occur. I just came in really quickly. This is Shell. I decided that I would pop in and let her know that I can answer this question much more easily than she could. And therefore, yes, there are so many different perceptions of how your planet was seeded and so many ways that it can be viewed, just like your perceptions of God can be so many different things and so many different understandings that, yes, you will find that there are many, many, many conflicting views. But yet, if you put them together, they really don't conflict. They actually complement one another. They only conflict in your belief system. They do not conflict in their informational value. Do you understand that? I think I do. Thank you. And so therefore, the, I would like to say that the way that your planet was seeded was like none other in the universe because your planet was chosen far before that period of time when other planets were chosen for seeding. That is because the angelic realms were created mostly for 
your planet and the planets that needed help early on with these kinds of events. Hmm. And you're sharing the Shakani perspective of this now. I mean, that is the point you're coming yeah. from. Okay. Yes, the Shakani view is that we didn't. We started very early on the seeding of your planet, but then left for a long period of time. The reason for this is we wanted to see how things would develop without interaction, without a process. Do you understand that we wanted to do organic, natural movement on your planet, and therefore all the other species that came were interactive with our uh, seeding as well, and the result was quite magnificent actually, and the nows that occurred during that period of time are unique among universal history. Yes, that seems to be the basic uh, common ground for all of those different stories, yes. Yes, and therefore bring those stories together and you will see how they interweave in some way. You will find that they are interwoven in a very distinct way, it, but you must study them. It's not that you can just observe one point of view and have it have it point out how they are interwound, but if you must see the threads that come across the entire planet and the changes that developed. You have many different species and many different cultures and many different looks within your world. They are all humanoid, of course. However, you have different looks and different cultures, different traditions and different movement in religions. All these things have their own place in the beginnings. Now, I must say the religious aspect of it baffles me because it's changed so much. But I see that humanity uh, brought their own manipulation to the religions and therefore has really soiled them in many ways. So I would disregard the religious aspects but from the very beginning they were very pure but as you see them now they're all they need thrown into a washing vat and cleaned <laughs> <laughs> yes that seems very appropriate thank you anyone have questions in the room with Jim Yes, Takur was actually finished with the things that she had to say. So this is Shell. Welcome, Shell. How are you? I am well. Good. Um, I did want to speak to you about something today. There is a portion, portion of your technology that is coming to life now with new energies. So I wanted to speak to you about that. Colors will become more important. Why? Because colors and technology are also connected. Are you aware of that? All right, now colors have become more powerful and technology will grow from some of these colors. The colors that you are experienced with the energies that are coming to the earth are those that were also discovered by Tesla many years ago. But he has developed ways to, to bring energy into the colors and energy also within the and colors within the energy so therefore they are interacting not only are they interacting now in a different way you'll be able to feel color at, at this point you will start to have an emotional response to color not that you didn't before but it will be stronger now so if you will react to color in a different way than you ever have before, especially if it's a vivid and bright color. It might spark interactions with your uh, negative uh, resolute resolve in that the fact that it would tend to want to relieve it. I'm not sure if I said that correctly, but sometimes it will re interact with your positive emotions. It will be connected to the emotional response very strongly. So it will be more and more as time moves on. So therefore your colors and your technology will be associated with one another in a stronger way now and people will start to develop um, things that may seem magical from 
the colors and the energies that are intermingled with these colors. They will also decipher DNA in a greater way due to the color responses that they find within the DNA, the nucleotides, the uli, and all these things. There are many things to discuss about it, but I just wanted to inform you that it's happening now, it will grow stronger, and it will be part of your future. The future is a bright place, if that's what you would like it to be. There will be those that take color and energy and make it into something negative. But that is because negativity is also stronger and positivity is also stronger because words are also stronger. So if you are going to speak, be careful what you say. Your negative words will come in as a stronger energy and your positive words will come in as a stronger energy. So surround yourself with the positivity because the positivity is what you want to have. If you get angry quickly, be careful because that will cause communications to fall away from you. You might find yourself very lonely at some point or only with people with similar like minds. And so therefore, your positivity is important in this time especially to build a, a base for your, for your journey in this life. The positivity that you do now is much more powerful and will create a much greater base for your journey. Do you understand this? Yes, very much so. Excellent. Questions? Uh, yes, so does the color black, does each color symbolize some emotion or are they connected to emotions? They can be connected to emotions. That's part of your belief system. You see, many people in your culture have decided that red is a satanic color or an evil color, where it is not. It's actually a base color and a grounding color. And therefore, that is something that Christians have le very little of because their grounding is offset by the fact that red is not a, a, a good color for them. So your belief systems have much to do with your color coding. So make sure that you associate all colors with something good. Go to your chakra systems and see what colors belong to what things. Study what positive effects that your chakra colors have and do your belief system from there. Do not bring any negativity to any colors, not even black. Because black has a positivity that you cannot possibly, possibly understand. Space is filled with black matter, but that can be used in a very positive way to keep things held together within the universe. So therefore, would you say black is negative? Absolutely not. I have a question, Joe. Yeah. Yes. I was just wondering, is it possible that we could eliminate our belief systems or get rid of all the beliefs we currently have and be neutral? That is a good question, but the answer is no, and let me tell you why. <laughs> belief systems are part of everything you do. When you are an infant, you have no belief systems. There is nothing there. You see everything as it is, perfectly as it is, but as you grow, you start to believe that things are the way they are. That this, some people believe this is a holograph. Some people believe that they, this is real. Some people believe that they are in a different dimension than they really are in. Belief systems manage and control everything that happens on this planet. There is no decision made without a belief that is involved. Belief systems go deep within you. And you have been taught since very, very early on that your belief systems are what control your life. So therefore, to relieve yourself of all belief systems would be to enter into the Oversoul. That is the way that you were created because free will is also a belief system. So therefore, yes, it would be wonderful for you to be able to do that, but in a dimension of any kind of density, there is no question that belief systems come into effect. Is it 
this go for alien, other planets as well? Of course. It even goes for our species as well. We do live by the nows, which is a belief system. Yes. Um, I had another question about uh, color. Now, can yeah. they? Can a certain? Can a certain color? Can your body um, resonate more with a certain color, like make you feel better, or is that also a belief system? It is part of your belief system, but it does work. Uh, certain colors can be very calming. Now, if you've learned that blue or green is a calming color, then whenever you see these in bright, vivid colors, you will be calmed, you will be peaceful. But you can train yourself to believe that any color can be peaceful to you. However, it is best if your belief system settles on one color and that you use that for your belief system to calm yourself. It is more powerful than having a spectrum of colors that will calm you because they will only calm you in the, in the, the manner of how strongly you believe in that color to change your emotional state. Okay, thank you. Um, your, and your colors are beautiful. You like purple, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like purple and green. <laughs> yeah. Um, purple is a very strong color for peace for you, and so is green. But green to you is more of a hard color, more of an emotional color, and is and also the purple is also more calming for you because it comes from a place of spirituality. Not that the green is not a spiritual color for you, but purple is a higher spiritual color and therefore more calming. Yes, thank you. Uh, Neil? Yeah, okay, regarding colors. So colors give off uh, energy and they're giving off certain vibrations, okay? So right. in, all, in all energy you've got information is carried within all energy also. Yes. So is there certain colors that are good for carrying certain specific types of information? There are basic truths of colors, yes. Okay, so can you give me a run through of like sort of the, the, the main colors and what information is best carried in each color? I could, but that would take a long time because there are way more colors in in the universe than you experience on your planet. There are those colors do exist but you do not see them. You are not in a sub spectrum of light that, or sight, I should say, that brings in all the, the millions of colors that exist in the universe. There, therefore, I, it would take me forever to just tell you what all the different colors would do. But, I will tell you this. You in a, as a belief system will take each color and make them into the stronger belief system because you will understand that they do have power now, that you do understand that they are a greater force in your life. So therefore, yes, there are some planets that take each color and make them into a universal uh, language in some ways. But for your planet at this point, your belief systems will have to work individually until telepathy is uh, a part of all of you. Then you will actually unite in your color processes. Does that make sense to you? Yes, I understand. So, for instance, if I was wanting to talk to somebody tele uh, telepathically, is there a color I could imagine that would help to facilitate yeah. that type of communication? Your belief system on your planet is the green is the beginning of telepathy, which is also good because that is also the hard color of the chakra. That is where telepathic communication begins. Now, that would help if you attached it to the indigo of the third eye, which is also a psychic center, telekinetic center, and a molecule center because eventually your planet people will be able to walk through walls and things when that portion of your brain is ignited or, or evol evolved, let's put it that way. And yes, so green is the color that you would use on your planet that would use, that would be a greater telepathic 
passage. And it also is a universal color for telepathy in many ways. But there is 70,000 shades of green. Okay, I've got more questions, but I'll pass the mic over for now. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Roy had a question. Um, he said, how is the energy of Halloween affecting humanity deeper than the celebration, etc.? Is it localized to the Western world, or does it have a globe one? It actually has a global one because there are people all over your planet that worship the saint or believe in the saints and this is all Saints Eve and so they are affected by the emotions that revolve around this belief system so it is universal however your part of the planet the North American part is much more affected by it because of their belief systems with Halloween and things of this nature now Halloween takes on more of a not of a negative sense anymore, but more of a fun idea. Now, there are those that will bring it into a negative concept and use ghouls and ghosties and things of this nature to be fun. But the actual images may not relate to everyone as fun. So, therefore, it is part of the belief system how it comes off to the... Uh, North American continent. Now tomorrow, the day All Hallows Day is much more interesting in the sense that there are more people universally involved with that. Okay. Um, uh, somebody else had asked a question about uh, e the exact function of the soul on how it relates to the personality. The soul is a part of God. He has given you a portion of himself to be in existence. This is who you are in your existence, is this portion of God. Now, the way that the personality develops is free will. But each portion of God has some skills and talents but you may never use them or may never want to. But let me tell you this. If you are a part of God, you have every skill and every talent, every emotion and everything. It is your free will that brings out which parts of this God soul that you want to exist in reality. Now, if you are not, not bringing out the full God soul, then you'll pick out certain parts of the God reality within you to be who you are in a personality. Do you understand that? You get to choose life to life which parts of these, which parts of God's use that you want to use. Now, some people say, well, I want to use it all, but you can't use it at all. At all. You can't use it all in one dimension because God is in all dimensions and outside of dimensions as well. So you can't be useful, it cannot be useful in every way that it can be. So you decide which parts of the personality you will use. Okay, but in terms of how they relate to each other, because I've heard that the soul is just there to observe what you do, and I've also heard that the soul is there to help you with what you do. A belief system as well. There is there is the belief, but the truth is, it is there to do all these things. Okay. All right. Thank you. Anyone in the room have questions for Jim? Yeah, another one. Um, I wanted to ask about this Keshe Foundation that just come out with the new energy. It's free energy for the world. Yeah. He just. Uh, gave out the blueprint for it. Um, is our North American government, our United States government, going to accept that and be able to let it go out to the people? Can you see that? Change is always difficult for governments because basically they like where they are, the control that they have. Giving freedoms and energies to people is not something that they are used to doing. How, but 
this new energy, the blueprint for it, is not necessary for you to be able to use it. Even if they do not, even if they do not roll it out for you, roll it out for yourself. Your belief system is that you can use it. Is that true? Yes. Then believe it and use it. Okay. Whether they do or not is of no consequence because those that want to use it will use it and those that do not will not anyway. I have a question about dimension. Yes. So um, is it true that the scientists have used the CERN machine to puncture a small hole into the fourth dimension? It is true. And is that something that the ordinary person is going to be able to use to go into the fourth dimension? It is in some respects. In our the, lifetime, or is this something that's going to be used for certain alien entities to travel back and forth and maybe have been trapped here in this dimension? Or? They don't need it. They're not trapped. If, if they have the knowledge of how to get from dimension to dimension, they're already using it. And if they are trapped, it's only because of their belief system. Because they know that what they to do to get back. Okay. They just don't want to get back. But let me explain something about this fourth dimensional. Actually, they, they punctured a whole, it's not the fourth dimension, but an alternate dimension. Let's put it that way. It is not a fourth dimension, but it is an alternate dimension and they are afraid to go through it. They've set many things into it already, and none of them has come back. And so they are studying it and putting many mathematical computations on it. They're putting many assumptions on it at this point. It's just, not, it's just been recently that this has happened, within the last couple of years on your time planet. So it is not something that is of great knowledge to the rest of the world, but your, the answer to your question is, it depends on whose hands that the decisions fall to, what they're going to use it for. But they still don't know what it is yet. So therefore, you are safe. Um, Shell, I had channeled um, information about each person having their own frequency and about finding your own frequency and um, the meditation that I was given was to connect to your heart chakra the sun, the central sun and then to all there is. Can yes. you expand a little bit on that? Yes, well that is a good way to do it but you have to understand there's not just one way. There are many different ways to connect to your frequency because your frequency is yours alone. You can build, you can understand your frequency by going into a meditation and feeling it. Now, let me tell you why the sun is important in that frequency for you. Is because the sun is a, a, a basic thing that, it is a basic element that you must have to survive, correct? Yes. The sun gives a certain vibration off from it, its own thing, which becomes part of your vibration. Not totally, but a portion of everyone has a portion of the sun's vibration, as well as the earth's vibration, as well as anything that they come in contact with. Their aura will take on portions of that vibration. That's why the aura is important to be cleansed out now and then because it can touch upon many different things with many different vibrations and so it needs cleansed out and straightened out and uh, made to feel whole again because it gets dents and bumps and things in from uh, frequencies that it doesn't really need to survive. So yes, I understand where you're coming from with this different meditation and it is very helpful because that meditate that vibration is part of who you are and helps you discern who what your vibration is too especially in that way when you feel those vibrations that you are connecting to in that meditation now what i would suggest to you is this expand your meditation not to only include the sun but the whole solar system the whole earth and everything that you can possibly bring into your um, 
meditation around you. Expand yourself out to include it because these are the things that are causing your vibrations to change or stay the same. And so therefore, your vibration is not always constant. It does change a little, but we do have ways to measure that vibration and actually transport the, the matter that is your vibration from one place to another. And it, the machine works with, it, it gathers your vibration and it knows how it's changing and it has a frequency. It takes a few minutes for it to, to get your pattern of frequency changes. But your vibration, vibrational changes are, are noted and you can be moved from one place to another place, transported if you will, because your vibration can be calculated and when it ceases to exist in one place, then it exists in another. Okay, thank you. Um, Valerie? Hi. I just have a quick question. Hello. I live, <laughs> I live in the northern part of the country, northwest, and so the winter here is really cloudy a lot, and I, the valley I live in kind of gets socked in. You don't get a lot of sunlight. So I'm just wondering, how can I keep my vibration up? In the summertime, I'm outside a lot in the sun. Now, the wintertime, I'm going to be indoors more. And um, I have a light that helps somewhat. But I just wondered how um, or what kind of tips you can give me and others to help keep our vibrations up higher. A very excellent question. You can ground yourself to Mother Earth no matter where you are, inside, outside, a, a hundred stories up in the air, if you so desire to. Because Mother Earth is in tune to who you are, and you are in tune to who she is. And therefore, if you lay flat on your back, on the ground, if that is possible, and ask Mother Earth to come into you, she can come into you no matter where you are. And to keep your vibration up with Mother Earth, it's not a problem. She can help you ground no matter what. Now, to, that is a different thing than keeping your vibration up. But grounding yourself through Mother Earth is very important. And so, therefore, I mention it first. Now, your vibration can be kept up by looking at bright colors, by looking at bright things and filling your rooms and filling your uh, areas with very happy words, very happy in th things. Surround yourself with the things that make you happy. If, if there are material things that make you happy, then surround yourself with them. I do not mean to uh, clutter yourself with them, but bring in those things into your belief system that will help you make it through the winter in a positive way. Of course, the light will help a great deal if that's what you believe. All works out to be a belief system as well. So when you believe that these things help you to feel better, then they will. And put the, your energies into more positive words. Put your energies into positive thoughts and patterns. If you look out the window and you hate snow, I use the word hate, but I'm not using it in the sense that I hate anything. So I can say the word hate and it will not be because the intent behind it is just an example. Do you understand that? Yes. If you look out the window and you do not like snow and you get a bad feeling from it or ice or anything else, you can just say, thank you for the snow and ice and I want to bring a positive uh, nature to it and therefore do it. Make it into something positive. Make it into ice cream. Make it into whatever it is that will make it positive for you. And so when you look outside, get a spoon and eat the ice cream. So in your mind, you are looking at ice cream. You are looking at beautiful something. You must just change your perception of negative things into something more positive. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Gabriel? 
Yes, I have a question for my friend. Uh, and uh, she she's feeling very like when she are with other people, she's so worried about what other people think about her and she she wants she wants to be able to be herself, but it's hard for her to be herself and she, she kind of wants someone to love her unconditionally, but she she has trouble loving herself because she don't feel it from others. Do, do you have any tips for her? Yes. The beginning of this process is self-love. She must find out why she does not love herself because self-love is the most important thing. If you do not love yourself, others will not love you either. So you must find what it is that is causing you this self-loathing. And my guess is that others have put this on you. Others have said things and you've accepted them as the truth. And it, not, it is not the truth for them to give you. Your truth is within you. Your understanding of who you are in the truth is within you. Others cannot give you who you are or tell you who you are. Others can only tell you who they are. Others can only give you a perception of who they think you are and you do not have to accept it and you should not. Even if they tell you something that is true about yourself or you believe it to be true, you do not have to accept it from them because you are the only one that knows who truly you are. Now, you must do a self-introspection. You must find out who you really are. There's nobody else in the entire world on your planet that will be able to do this for you. You have to do a meditation, a thought process, or whatever it is to go inside and find that love for yourself because the love for yourself is truly, truly important. And guess what? Tell her this. God loves her. And the God inside of her loves her. And everyone outside looking in loves her. Because why? She is a perfect being. No matter if she does not feel perfect, no matter if she senses many flaws within herself, no matter if she thinks People hate her. She is perfect. Do you understand this? Yeah, I think she does, but she look at the outside and it's a challenge for her because she's so lonely right now. Do not look That's outside it. first. Look inside first. Inside is the only place to look now. When you look outside, it's futile. When you look inside, it's nourishing. Call, go into a meditation and nourish yourself with intention. Tell yourself that you are worthwhile. Tell yourself that you are loved. Let yourself know that you have talents and that you can be the person that you want to be. There is not looking outside right now. What is the outside going to do for you? Absolutely nothing. The outside at this point is negligible without any purpose on the inside. Yeah, I, I will share this to her so she can see this. Thank I think it will help her a lot. Thank and I tell her she's amazing. She is amazing. Every human being that exists, every creature in the universe is amazing. Why? Because they exist and God is a part of them. Just the very fact that they live is amazing. Does anyone have any more questions for Shell? There's others that want to come and speak, but I had to speak my mind today. Okay. Thank you for coming, Shell. Thank you for sharing yourself with us. I will bring the next person, entity, whatever you call them in your belief system, into <laughs> this body. Yes. Thank you. Wonderful day. Many Wonderful. blessings to you. And remember, to not take blessings lightly, 
When someone says blessings, think about the word. What is a blessing to you? Bring that into your reality. Bring the word blessing into your reality and make yourself blessed. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. There, there, there. I'm, I'm here briefly, but someone called me. Did who called for Terrence? Oh, Johannes. Welcome. Thank you. What is it, your question? Someone said to me that it was important, so they let me come. Hey, Terence. Greetings. It's your hand. And what is it that you want to know? They said it was important. Uh, who said that it was important? All the other beings that are trying to come in. Okay. Yeah, so then because I feel that it may be important also, that's why I want to, to, to make it. Speak up, so please. You, yeah, uh, if you can hear me. Then yeah. um, when you were experiencing your life here on the planet. Yes. And uh, you had your... Uh, your DMT trips that you have been speaking about, which yeah. is recorded on YouTube, and you can find many things now. You speaking, yeah. and and um, you're a very good spokesman, by the way. Um, Thank you. And I just want to clear out if, when you're leaving your body under a under the stronger DMT trips when you inhale it, I'm not talking about the ayahuasca, but uh, when you inhale the big doses of DMT uh, and you leave your your body and uh, you're entering these um, uh, dimensions and stuff, would that be the sensation of, of, of passing on, let's say leaving this life, yes. uh, let's say dying? I what you're saying, dying. Uh, going into uh, the light, whatever you want to call it. No, it's not exactly the same uh, feeling. What it is, is that you're being taken. You're being uh, guided to a different place, but it's not to that place. But you feel the guidance. You understand it as being something outside of yourself. You feel it as being the a ways and a means to another place where you can learn things of a greater value. And of the, this greater value, then this is what you want to partake of. And you do bring it back to your, uh, your perception on this planet whenever you uh, return, because that's what your intent is. Your intent is for to uh, expand yourself, make yourself into a greater individual, make yourself into a greater uh, being, understand and perceive that there are other places to go in the universe, understand and perceive that these places are real and not real at the same time. Do you understand that? Yeah. Good. And now, so with, your personal, with your personal experiences, mm -hmm. I see that you, are, you have a feeling of uh, losing contact with the body. Is that true? 
Can you repeat that? You disappeared for me. All right. You have a feeling of losing contact with the body sometimes. Is that correct? Uh, under the DMT trips or uh, normally? DMT. Yes, of, of course. Yeah, definitely. And this is... Um, make sure before you take your DMT trips that you are grounded into the the third dimension because when these trips happen and you feel out of the body when you feel that you're leaving the body it's important to stay balanced in in the uh, in the earth uh, reality let me tell you why because you can sometimes get so far away from the grounding that you lose uh, lose uh, synapse control with uh, with uh, reality. So that is why it is important for me to talk to you today. I want you to stay grounded, ground yourself before you do these trips because you'll get a lot more out of them. And you will not, uh, there will be no fear in the sense that uh, there will be, uh, I'm trying to say it in a way that everyone can understand. So there will be no fear of leaving the body and being safe. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, 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 of course. Okay, any, any other questions? I think they were a little concerned about your safety, and so they wanted to come and for me to speak to you. Yeah, in, in, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, 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 um, what, what DMT, uh, I, I mean, personally asking a question to you now about DMT is, is, is just, uh, uh, expanding my 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 thoughts around it uh, already now. So I mean, uh, but uh, straight up, like, did can can you say that that uh, from the perspective that you are now, that it has some. Um, there is some legitimacy to doing it, yes. But you see, it's only the it as this other person was talking to you, belief systems have a lot to do with it. And you're, and the, some of the places that I went were real, and some of the places that I went were not real. And why did I go to places that weren't real? Is because of where I wanted to go at that time. I wanted to go to a place that only existed for me. And so that is what happened. And sometimes uh, you, humans want that. A place that they can call their own, a place that is only for them, a place where they Jim? Look, we okay. lost Jim. We lost Jim. <laughs> okay, he dropped. Maybe not by accident. <laughs> um, it's okay, we'll wait for him. Okay, Jim's back or, in. He, he's back. It's a quick disclaimer as well. We can't yes. uh, condone the, uh, the use of any illegal, so, illegal substances, but if you do choose no. to do so, that's your own right. You have that own right. Yeah, be careful. Do you think they heard me? But, okay, yes. uh, um, Terence, you, you dropped from our feed. Yeah. Uh, Sabrina, I'll let you take it from here. Yes, are you, um, Jim? Yes. Terrence, okay. Terrence, okay. okay. I am yeah. returned, but there's someone else coming. I've said everything I need. Okay, thank you. Can I, can I just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If if I can just, if Terence still is there, there's just one more question, one quick question. Terence is still uh, here. Yes, I am Terence. Yeah. So it's just that uh, I had for first time an open eye experience on that DMT, and I was looking at um, Martina. She came to me, the the woman that I share my life with now. She came to me, and I looked at her and I would say that that would be her galactic how she looks is that can that be sort of true in one way like how 
Because she changed. Yeah, so Many things changed from how she looks now. I mean, it, psychedelics are changing your views, and but but she didn't. Yeah. Let me explain that to you. Um, whenever you are with someone Could for a period of time, what, seeing her, the girl. Yeah. When you are with someone for a period of time, you get to see more than one aspect of their being more than one look, more than one lifetime sometimes, and the DMT experience will bring out a look from a different period or a future time or whatever. It is what you are experiencing in the third dimension, only changed into that, uh, that which you understand only in the psychedelic. Yeah, okay. It was beautiful anyway. Anyway, I'm ready to meet any alien after what I what I saw. Uh, what I, I don't want, I can't really speak about this any longer. They were just concerned about your safety and now someone else because I do not want to say that I am in favor of people doing this. There are individuals that can do it, but most individuals really can't. So, I I don't want to be an advocate for this from where I am now. Do you understand? Of course, of course, of course. I understand totally of, of this kind of, of, of stuff, yeah. But for, for you, I know that there is nothing for me to say that will stop it because you have not had any bad experiences, but I still do want to tell you that drugs are drugs and they are, they are to be handled carefully. Respect to that. Thank you very much. Love you. Bye. Love you as well. I'm going now. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And uh, again, uh, we don't condone the use of illegal drugs. Um, everybody makes their own choices and they have a right to do that. That is what I'm saying. Namaste. Hello! Ah. Hi, Lakesh! Lakesh! Lakesh. Nice to you? hear from you. I am very good. How are you? Hello, we Lakesh! You are great, Lakesh. It is good to be here. I have not seen some of you for a long time. Yes, yes, you have not spoken to us. So, uh, Gabriel, would you like to ask Lakesh something? Yeah, hello, Lakesh and Kili. And hello, Kili. How are you? You know, I tried to come to you many times, and it's just not the right time. So that is all right. We will get together again some other time. That is why I can't connect to Kalish, too. Yes. It is all right, though. Your journey is changing. So Kalish and I will be back. No problem. What is your question? No, I just want to say hi. Um, I have too many questions to ask. <laughs> you know that. Well, then we will have to talk later. Yeah, but you're not upset with me. That's what I. Oh no, I am not upset with anyone. No, no, no. <laughs> upset? I don't get upset with anyone from the Earth sphere. I understand you very well. They're fine. Yes, I feel you. You're the one who understand me, one of the most being that understand me. Ah, yes, I understand. <laughs> yes, Very good and I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd love to meet you in dream time again. Of so course. I can remember it. Of course, you will. It will happen. <laughs> and I would love to speak more of your language. I love it. <laughs> Is that, is that your language? Yes. That was, yes. It's hard for me to, to know if it's your language or if it's Actorian. How can I know? In some ways, 
because of the high sounding pitch. But the words are different. You will notice that when Sabrina speaks Octorian, it's different than when you speak my language. Even though it's in a higher pitch, it's still a different language. Yes, and I want to thank you, Will, for giving me the gift of speaking your language. Oh, you're so welcome. And give everybody a hug from me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Carolina? Okay. Carolina. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm so happy to speak to you. I'm happy to speak with you as well. Um, Lakesh, um, oh, yeah, I've, I've always heard you in on the videos. I have two questions, if I may. Yes. Um, the first one is about uh, DNA. Um, um, I know I have uh, different DNA percentages. Yes. Um, now, it, I and I was wondering whether those DNAs, um, whether I was born with them or whether they were infused. No, that you were born with some of those DNAs. The ones that are going, to, the ones that are beginning to be infused, you asked for. All right. It's just because um, I asked. Um, I didn't specify. I I basically sent the request so um, to their will, uh, but I, I I didn't know whether I had some DNA within me already. Yes, you do. But Takur is the one you talk to about. DNA, uh, adding DNA to your body, but the DNA that's in your body now has come from birth, yes. You were not given it at any particular time in your lifetime. It is oh my God. with it. But I do not do much with the DNA anymore because from my distance, it's very difficult for me to properly align the different percentages. I can sometimes make out all the different species that are there, but the percentages are more difficult from this distance. Oh, I see. Oh, that that's awesome. I didn't know I had I had those within me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, I, I have another question. Um, I was told that um, I've, I've seen a um, dolphin spaceship before. Yes. Um, when I was about six. Yes. Um, it was it was cylindrical and uh, he, he had plenty colors, color, yes. colorful lights. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me what uh, what they wanted to to tell me, or what, what, were they there for me, or do you know, Actually, do you know anything? They are, they, are, they are the holders of light. The dolphins and well civilizations hold light on your planet. And therefore, they come to all different bodies of water to check and see if there's uh, beings in every different uh, bodies of water that can hold some light for them. Because movement across bodies of water with uh, the connections of the heart and the soul is important. So therefore, they do come and check out the water areas. Is there water in your area? No. When when they appeared, I was in um, in the mountains in the Andes. So ah. um, perhaps so they can see you. Let me ask them. I I have no. They speak a trinary language, which is difficult for all beings to interpret. But we can interpret it. But I don't. I would not be able to give you an answer to that right now. They would have yeah. to send me a response. But I believe. It you were not near water, then they did come to see you in particular. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. Is this, do you have a, a special understanding of dolphins or whales as a child? Or did you have a love of them? I, I always loved them. Um, I never thought anything. I mean, I always thought they were special, but not. Uh, um, I never knew they were dolphins, <laughs> spaceships. So it's nice to know. Yes. They do not come around the planet in those small cylinders very much anymore. Oh, well, those are the small cylinders that are, that are only several miles big, whereas their, their home ships or mother ships are extremely large and are very, very many miles long. 
30 and 40 miles long, so, and oh, very wide. Oh, thank you, Lakesh. Thank you so much. Oh, you are welcome. Okay. Um, just just to let them know that uh, if they wanted to tell me something, they can come to me any time as well. Very well. I will give them that message when I speak to them. Thank you. Sheer? Sheer. Hey, Lakesh. How oh, are you? Lakesh. How are you, Lakesh? I am wonderful. Hmm. <laughs> I know that you want to come in uh, some of my uh, personal uh, sessions with Jim, that you are in the queue, so to speak. Yes. Hmm. Is there anything that you want to ask me, or many messages? What I believe, I believe uh, Jim froze. <laughs> so are he looks so handsome while he's uh, he's back he up. has a smile. <laughs> yes, he's got a and, smile. And he will be back soon, but. There was probably too much information he, sh he has to share for a, like just a minute to share it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, but it's okay. We'll we'll get him back. And I know like Cash really wants loves everybody. He he like unconditionally loves everybody so much, and he he has a special thing with everyone. It's I so know. amazing. I think he understands the human condition pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, so, and there's ever, a lot of compassion from him. Did I ever, ever tell if he had a lifetime on Earth or not? I don't. Uh, I don't think he did. Um, I, w I Didn't somebody ask that? I believe somebody asked. I think I did, but I think he said that nobody on his world had. Right. Yeah, because they, they sort of handled things differently, so... And it kind of feels like our world is helping them, their world to evolve. Yes. Yeah, because they're learning from us. But I guess a lot of civilizations are learning from us, so... Um, I think it's good. Okay, we're we'll wait for Jim till he comes back. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. So let's just give a a, a few announcements while we wait for Jim to get back. I don't think we need the Mississippi. I think we need the Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there's any yeah. other announcements at the moment. Um, just um, um, everybody, um, don't forget the uh, the meditation tomorrow with Johannes at 7 p.m. and uh, today story time with Kim at 5 p.m. and then there's also um, uh, freeform hangouts that happen. Um, and there's also the pre-structure ones that can be found at the website at humancolony.org and uh, they get announced on the Google Plus page, uh, the Hukolo page uh, for Human Colony, so please check that out. Oh yeah, I'm uh, just right, Sabrina. Um, if you're posting up a, a, a webinar or a hangout, don't forget to post the links up. Um, in the Hukolo chats, 
Um, some people have mentioned they haven't been able to get in and, or they haven't been able to chance to do that. So if that could be possible, that would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, you. Um, people are always looking that for a hangout. should be so. talked about. Yeah, so. no, they're back. Uh, also, Max has a, um, a DNA hangout on the 4th of November. That's the last announcement. Welcome back, Jim, and welcome back, Lakesh. Hello. Hey, Lakesh. Welcome, Welcome I, Lakesh. Yes, they were telling me that I was dropped away from your site. Yes. Yes. Maybe so, I just yeah, asked you. We lost the image. What was the last thing you heard me say? Um, nothing. I just asked you if there's anything that you want to ask him or something, because you have been in the you to speak with me a couple of times when I ask um, who's in waiting to speak with me, if there was yes. something that you want to ask. Um, no, I just wanted to speak to you because everyone else finds you very interesting and so do I. And so therefore, why not talk to the interesting people? Hmm. Um, I want to ask you if you remember once I have uh, spoke with you about Aurea, a Pleiadian queen. If yeah. there's a touch. Yeah. yeah. So I believe she came to me in a dream within a dream state, but yeah. I'm not sure. And I think she had a couple of messages for me, but she was kind of cut off. It was very unpleasant for me when <laughs> everything took place. But if you know she if she wants to. messages for you, absolutely. But she, I will not tell the messages because she wants to tell you them herself. It is her message, and she must give it. I do know what it has to deal with, but I do not want to rob her of her thunderness. <laughs> okay, so it was her that came to me that time? Yeah. Oh, ah. it's thunder, not ness. Yes, okay. They're correcting me on my planet here. Yeah. Okay. I do not want to rob her of giving you the message herself because it is personal. Okay, she has any connection to me? Yes. But talk to her. I'll get in okay. trouble if I say too much. Okay, I won't get you in, into any trouble. It's okay. I've been in so much trouble in the past. Yeah. Not that it would make much difference, I guess. Oh. But we I love do, you, Lakesh. Love you too, but I, I happen to have rather loose lips, they call that. So I do not want to, to be in trouble again because I want to behave myself. So what happens when you get in trouble? Oh, they cut me off for a little while. They say, you don't want to speak to people for a little while, or we don't want you to say about... Uh, read this particular thing anymore. So <laughs> there are things I'm not like allowed to I'm not allowed to talk about certain things anymore. So because I tell too much. It's Why all right if I tell you but I only did that to me too much information. Then tell us about positive things, wonderful things. You must know so much about Oh there is a well the most positive and wonderful thing about your planet right now is the new energies of course. Oh. And the, the new uprisings of all the different energies and, and the way they can be used. You have not yet begun to understand them in any way, shape, or form. But as time goes on, many of you will see the changes that are coming. You will see that there are things, it will take several years, of course, before you will see some really big things. But you're going to see small things happening here and there. And notice that the energies are very much stronger and they're very much changing. So that makes me happy. Please bring it into a positive aspect. And therefore, if it's in a positive aspect, it will it will change your life, really. You say on the Chinese New Year, which is February 1st, we're going to see some major changes. Can you give us some foresight in the very near future, next coming months? And... Chinese New Year about so-called your post disclosure. It is funny. I am in this body, and his birthday is February first. Yes, it is. Um, 
yes, there will be some things that will change. And the things that will change are attitudes. Um, there will be many attitudes that will be changing in the new year because they won't be understanding. More people will be drawn to a universal God who has a greater loving and understanding way than they are to a God with very minimal, minimalized powers. Nice. And so that attitude will start to change and it will not be accepted by everyone. Of course, there will be some... But some people will buck against that because they have been brought up in it for so long and their minds are so set and they believe it with so much strength that it, it is their reality. However, the real reality is that God is much more loving and giving and understanding and miraculous than they could ever possibly imagine. And there are rules and regulations that bind him and stop him from working will have to be shed eventually. Okay. Um, hello, Lakesh. This is Sabrina. Sabrina. So I have a quick question. I saw, I, it sort of looked like a star, but it was too bright to look like a star the day before yesterday. Yes. It was at night. Um, yes. It was very, very bright. Yes. Um, it was right before I went to bed. Um, was that yes. a star or was it something else? Actually, it could have been a satellite, but let me check. Satellites can sometimes appear to be a very bright portion of in the sky. But let me check for you and make sure. According to our what you would call radar or solar or whatever you want to call it, that was something of significance that you saw, yes. Okay. It was it was actually an orb. Oh Okay. Yeah, because it was but very, it, very bright. It was very bright because they were using um, they were using some technology at the time that caused it to uh, brighten. Uh, right now, the coastlines of all of your planets are being checked because there is going to be some uh, kind of seismic uh, disturbance that will affect all the coastlines. Mm. So that's what, least, they that's what they believe. That is their belief system at this time. Especially, many are looking at the West Coast. There is a, a possibility the coastline there will change. So who who were they? Who were the ones uh, checking that? Can you say? Um, they were uh, Fendorians. That was okay. a Fendorian. Okay. Yes. Um, thank you. And the other question I had was, it's between uh, Maria and I. Uh, we are living together yeah. now. And uh, we yeah. would like to know if you could give us uh, a hint about what we're meant to do together. <laughs> Ooh, what you're supposed to do together sounds rather personal. But let no. me tell you, let me. <laughs> no, no, instead of energetically and and, and oh, sensitive. energetically personal. Okay, still sounds sort of personal, but anyway, <laughs> I will tell you that there is some things happening with you that you are on the beginning of a journey together. That is good, but there will be other people joining that journey. You have your individual journeys, of course, but there course. is a journey that you will be taking together. Yeah. And, um, and uh, there will other people be joining that journey. Your place, your home place will be involved in that. It will be a meeting place. Oh, really? I'll give you that much. Does that oh, make too much? Did I say? Oh, perfect. Oh, no. nobody hurts me, please. All right. <laughs> So, 
All right, so we'll be a meeting less. place for people or aliens. Or aliens. Yes, I cannot. Well, they said that's good enough. No. <laughs> On. I can't tell the future because I'm Lakesh and I have to shut up. So anyway. Okay, okay Lakesh. I guess I'll have to hound Will then. <laughs> yes. You are moving. Let's put it this way. You are moving on a very good path. Um, get Makiko involved. I'm allowed to tell you that. Okay. And Zach. And Zach. Yes. Yes. How did you know? Yeah, and Adriana. <laughs> I know. Ad uh -huh. But Ad anyway. Adriana also? Yes. Okay. I thought so. All right. Yes. Um, oh, oh. And the one that won't say anything. <laughs> Go ahead. My gosh, it's Maria. Love you. And I have a complaint. After the last I'm session gonna... that we had together, you did not fulfill your promise. You, you're supposed to make this time a little bit more fun for me. You forgot about me. Oh! Yeah, you, you were fun. Anywhere. You were supposed to take in the I'm, I'm... <laughs> Here, I will make, what? I will make it what? fun for you. Go ahead. You are, over, you are fun already. <laughs> Lakesh, I have a question for you. This is a serious question. That was just a joke. Um, I want to know when I'm toning, I, I, I like to know who are these species or entities and what language I'm speaking lately. Sing it for me. Sing it for her. Sing it? Oh, yes, okay. go ahead. Oh, sing the song. It is a um, Native American language from the past, but also it is connected with it is connected with half or language as well, because the words that you are saying are half or, and the connection, the ability is more uh, Native American. Okay. And the language that I speak is that Palladian? Pardon me, I didn't get that. The language. I speak a language. I, I don't know. It's different than the ones that I used to speak. Yes. Is that Pleiadian? You... Oh. I don't know. You didn't speak it. Okay. Isi tikiala ala mata ko ulu tikiana sata iarara utuku. Yes. Pleiadian. Yes. That is Pleiadian. That is a sect of Pleiadian. There are like five different Pleiadian languages that I know of that I can speak and others that I don't know. But that one is, yes, that is one that is familiar to me. Thank you, Lakesh. I love you. Don't forget about me. You. you promised. I, how do I forget about you? I cannot. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Neil, you are next. Thank you, Lakesh. Hello, Lakesh. Oh, this is Neil. Neil, hello. Hello, how are you? I've never met you before, so I want to say much love to you. Much love to you as well. Um, do you have any messages for me today? Yes, there is a message about the council. I will do, not name it, I'm afraid to. But anyway, there's a, there is a message about the council that you're in, that it is uh, changing direct direction slightly and getting much more important. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it makes absolute sense, yes. Very good. Then that is the message that I will give to you right now. Your counsel is becoming more important. And uh, it, with that more importance comes greater responsibility. And I'm sure that you are doing very well. I, I know that uh, 
things are going very well with you in many, many ways. So I'm happy for you. Okay, thank you very much. Much love to you. Much love to you. All right, thank you. Unless somebody has a question for Lakesh in the room, we will let him go. Bye bye. Oh, wait a minute. Um, if someone has a question. Okay, very good. I'm wondering if um, if there is somebody watching me, not in a bad way, and if I should change anything <laughs> that I'm doing. You mean with binoculars? <laughs> I just I feel a presence with me, and I don't. Oh, uh, there is a presence with you. Yes. Um, let me check who that is. But I do feel them. They're here right now, actually. Yeah. They're right here right now, and they are actually a relative. I believe mm -hmm. it is a relative that is with you right now, and it is a grandparent. One moment, a great grandparent. Okay. Oh, they love you very much. They're very much guiding the things that you are doing right now because they are very much happy that you are becoming your true self. You are now becoming more of your true self than you've ever been before and it is feeling good within you it is feeling happy and you're connecting to things that are vital to you and important to you and you're connecting that into in, they're guiding you to that information okay. they are definitely guiding you to that information so is it my great grandmother it is your great grandmother yes and she is guiding you to this information. She is someone that was very interested in many of the same things that you are interested in. So she is uh, very aware of who you are and is going, yippee, finally, you are becoming who you are supposed to be. Oh, that was all right. But anyway, <laughs> but it, you are in a great place at this time. And move, you are on a springboard, if you will, will say, we always call it a springboard because the next movements will be way faster. Now, is my neighbor's dog seeing her when I walk? The neighbor's dog sees a lot. Okay. Yes. She's the only dog in the world that's afraid of me. Um, the neighbor's dog is like going, what the heck? Yeah. You know, what the, what's going on there? But uh, it's all right. It doesn't also, matter. My dog is going to pass soon. Um, yes, I'm sorry. Can you be with us when that happens? Yes, I can be there if you just give me a call. Okay. Can call. you feel how, last question, can you feel how close she is to going? Um, one moment. I'll have to connect with her through you. Just So think of her right now. Uh, oh, pretty close, okay. yes. I would not say that it's long from now. She is very, you've kept her in a very comfortable state. And yes. She's very comfortable and there's not any pain right now. And is she, but yes, she knows that is happening. She knows what's happening. And the Reiki's helping? Yes, the Reiki makes her feel much better and gives her a little bit of energy because she doesn't have much. So, um, Keep doing that, but she will pass in her sleep. Oh, thank you. Yes. Will she need drugs or the Reiki is enough? That I cannot say. Okay. That is a decision for you to make. Okay. And I am not allowed to give you that information. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, Lakesh, Guru Dan wanted to know if you had any messages. Oh, there's somebody speaking over there. Oh. Barbara, how are you doing? Hi. Hi. Um, this morning when I woke up, I had a lot of fear. I don't know if it was in the house or within me. Was there something going on inside my place? One moment, I'll check. Where? Picture your place. It's an apartment that has like a bedroom, front room, kitchen. It has like an antique bed in the bedroom. It has a Buddha, crystals. Your animals were frightened by something. Is that my reptilian friend? Um, your reptilian friend is friendly, however, the animals, when he gets too close, they are spooked by him. So, yes, it was him. Okay, it's like that. Okay. Yes, but 
it made you scared because you felt their emotions, not 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 actually his. His were not frightening at all, but he frightened the animals because he hasn't been that close to you for a long time. So therefore, and he knew you were coming here today, but and he did want to speak, but he is not yet ready. Okay. Okay. Thank you. He's not quite yet ready. Did somebody else want to speak in there? Hello. Yeah. Another question. Yeah. No, I just had a friend visiting from Nevada, and I was wondering if there was a message for her or she has to look forward to. Uh, for, is she here? Yes, she's here. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, very, very well. Now, Oh, you have some questions. Um, yes, I wanted to tell you that. Well, there are several things actually. Um, there, but I'm only going to to extend myself to the one area. The, the reason why you are here is very important. You have to. You, there's a, a movement going on within you. There's a. There's something changing within you right now. It is, it is a positive change. It is a good change. You've connected with many spirits in the past. And the, these spirits are, you may not even be aware of where the, how you've connected with them, but you've connected with many of your relatives and past uh, friends and relatives. And there's a reason for that, because they want to come through you. They want you to speak for them in some way. Very good. Thank you. To be a medium. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. You are already very sensitive to the spirits. You know when they are around. You just do not let them always speak. It's time. Yeah. Okay. That is the most important of the messages. Thank you. Is any, anybody the belief? Anybody else have a question? Otherwise, I have one from Guru Dan. I, ha Guru I have Dan. a. No, look at, uh, hold on, Gab. I mean, in the room with with uh, Jim. There's no one in else speaking here. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Um, Guru Dan wanted to know um, if you had any messages for him. Yes, I know that he has been. A little bit struggling. I'm not sure with what. There's some kind of an emotional struggle that he is going through right now, or maybe he is not feeling well. I'm not sure. But um, that things are going to be um, his healing abilities are extraordinary. I mean, really extraordinary. Does he know that? I think he has some idea, yes. He must develop them because his healing abilities will be effective to people from long distances without him even being present, of course. But they are extraordinary. And um, I think part of the illness or whatever he's struggling with now is somebody trying to block this healing process, this process of understanding how much healing power he actually has. He's actually almost miraculous. Okay. Thank you, Lakesh. And on that note, um, I want to thank you for coming. Um, if you would like to do a blessing, we will welcome it. Ah, yes. Blessings are always welcome. Yes, one moment. I will use one of the early blessings from, from our society to other societies. Turaka karesika shashastaraba muhua wayosa shashasi rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
skurike aus wie ja kaka kaka ah it is this you are special to us you are a love energy for us you bring us into a realm of different understandings about who we are and about who you are as well. We understand in every way that you are friendly and that you want the best in everything. So therefore, we wish the same for you. We give you love, we give you blessings, we give you all the affirmations that you need to continue in your journey. Let us be a help and not a hindrance in all that you do. So in this way, we state our love and compassion and lend a helping hand when necessary. So there is there much love. Much love. Thank you, Lakesh. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have a parent, but that was nice. Lakesh, <laughs> <laughs> was, was that blessing... Do you know the history of that blessing? You... Oh, yes. It is from when we met uh, the Octorian people for the first time. Because I saw someone addressing a general assembly. Yes, it was the general assembly of the Octorians. We we addressed them and brought them uh, great peace. They wanted us to become part of an alliance with them, but we do not become part of any alliances. And therefore, this blessing was just to tell them how much love and friendship we would like to have with them, but we were not going to join. The, the speech afterwards was about how thankful we were that they were in such a, a wonderful place and that they were so kind to us, but that we would have to abstain from joining any kind of alliances at this time. Well, <laughs> well. You, you now have to give Lakesh a piece of jewelry. That's the deal. All right. Okay. Oh, jewelry, yes. Absolutely. All jewelry has history. And history is what we so cherish about our jewelry. So, but I have to go. Time runs on for you. Thank you. So, Lakesh. therefore. Thank you. Okay, so here's the jewelry. I have it upstairs. Very nice. Ah, valuable. Thank you. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you. We love you, Lakesh. Love you too, very much. Bye, Lakesh. Much love. Much Hello. Hi, hey, how are you? Water, water. The water oh, bottle is in my lap. Yeah, yes, that's good. All right, how is everybody doing? Very good. How are you doing? Yes. I feel great. I feel great. Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we were all hours. over the place today, Jim, but it was beautiful. Really? It's two hours oh, straight, good. Jim. I thought you might need a break in the hour, but wow. What time is it? Oh, it's right on cue. Yeah, it's right on cue. Wow. Yes. Very, very good. Excellent. Okay. So, have a wonderful day, everybody. I hope you had a good session. I see new faces in there that I did not see when I started, so... Excellent, thank you. And um, much love to everybody. Anybody else have anything? No. Did you want to do the blessings? Yes, I would like to do the blessings. Yeah,
blessings because, yeah, we need a couple blessings. Yes, we need a couple blessings. <laughs> uh, we're talking to each other. Um, okay, hold on. Hang on, everybody hold hands. Oh, hold, hold hands. Here. That's the message. You, you guys online, hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll we'll do a virtual hand holding. Correct. Okay. Okay. Ah, kio kua la liya katana, iu kua, kio kuku kua katana na na tu, koro ka niu koto kali a katatu, na kali ya tu ala lantu kutu, na kio roka la liu kota, aliya katu kontari kio kola na 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 ka, to kura kali a katan to koro kata, noru ala siki, iu kua ana kua kata, kia la lua tana skio ko. Orukana na skio kutu ala iu ku ala na na sakata tio suruata mia kuata tia kio kuata na 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 katu usia ka na kio ku la akata wo akata kati akati iu sakari akata tata. Your high vibrations and energies have touched us, have edified us today, and we give you thanks. We feel the spirit is with you, and we are with the spirit as well. We wish you great journeys and happinesses as we move on through our lifetimes as well. Remember to encourage our friendship always, even though we are not yet together in the physical worlds. We will someday meet and be a part of one another's lives. We are so encouraged by all the things that we see today and feel in this era and love and lightning and enlightening thoughts are coming to us from you. Be well and enjoy the new energy and let it build you up in a way that is most beautiful. Let the light shine from you as it always has, but in a most bright way so that we may be watchers of your evolution. Uh, sure, we'd like to do a, a, a blessing in Hebrew. Very well. Mintem, we call on the name of the Lord, the Lord of the Lord, the Lord of the Lord, the Lord of the Lord. Mintem, we call on the Nitzah, and we will see you. Go ahead and interpret it. You. I said that we will all find the love in Yohava, souls in the Elohim, and the one God. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. Uh, at this moment, we would like to say thank you for everybody for participating, for being here with all of us. For all the blessings that everybody brings, uh, for all the love that everybody brings to this group, for the unions that have happened, um, and friendships and otherwise, um, I think that's also very beautiful. And for helping humanity move forward in a very positive way. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. And so it is. And so it is. Oh, very good.
Go ahead, copy that. <laughs> Very good. This is sipping. Yes. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. We're still live. Oh, okay. can, we can take it off live now. Uh, okay. Ron? Do you want to say announcement? goodbye? Yes. There are announcements. Yeah, uh, 4th November is the next Reiki class. So uh, that's the last we're announcing we to go over today. But everybody say goodbye. Thank you for your participation. See you next time. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.